Hey guys, it's Talia. Um, so today I'm just doing a get ready with me video on this look that I'm wearing right now. Um, nothing really special, I just wanted to do a bit of a soft, natural but still glam kind of look because I'm not really doing much today so I didn't really want to put too much on my face. Um, so yeah, this is just the outcome. Um, lots of highlighter. Love the highlighter. <laughs> so if you want to see how I get this look and have a bit of a chat and a laugh because I am a complete idiot in this video, um, uh, just keep on watching. <laughs> So I've already cleansed and um, moisturized. Um, I change what I use a lot, so I'll just show you what I use today. Whoa! Breaking everything. So this morning I used the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Facial Scrub um, to cleanse and give my face a bit of a scrub. To moisturize, I just used Australian Creams Emu Oil Moisturizing Cream. I'm going to start off with um, a base um, or a primer and I'm using my L'Oreal Paris Lumi Magic Base Pure Light Primer. Um, yeah. I'm just going to do one pump thing. My fingers and all over my face. So this, it's just to give a little bit of glow underneath the, um, the foundation. So now I am going to go in with my um, Fit Me, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Matte and Poreless um, Normal to Oily. And my shade is 120 Classic Ivory. Starting off with a little bit, kind of like if you was to pump it, it would be like one, maybe one and a half pumps. It's because I'm pretty sure this isn't actually the perfect colour for me. So yeah, I'm just going to start by smacking it on. Oh, and I'm using um, Tarte, a Tarte brush. It's just really dense and I'm not sure what it's called. I got it from Sephora. That's one layer. Um, I want a little bit more coverage, so I'm going to put a little bit more. <gasps> so I got a little bit too much. I'll, I'll work with it. So again, just patting it on in my face. And then I'm going to go in with my um, Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind. Um, this is in colour Light Pale. I only have like a tiny, tiny bit left. So now I'm just going to blend it in with my ring finger. So now that's blended, I am going to take um, my Rimmel London Clear Complexion powder in 021 translucent. I'm just taking this big fluffy brush. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from Youngblood. And yeah. I'm 
uh, I get really bad chapped lips, so I'm just smothering them in chapstick. So now I'm just going to do my eyebrows. It's nothing special. Um, I'm using my Ojai Brow Brow Shaping Kit by Australis. Um, and this is what it looks like. Fuck. Shit keeps on moving in my room. Stop. God dang. So this is what it looks like. Um, and it comes with this little guy here. <clears throat> and I'm going to be using um, first this down the bottom which is the gel and I'm using it on the like angled side so I'm just going to like softly and quickly use the gel on my eyebrows. And then I'm going to take the other end of the um, little brush that comes comes with it, um, and this is like a flatter end, light brown colour here. And I'm just going to need it to go over the top of my brows. But I'm just going to take the spoolie again and comb out my brows. So now we're going to go into the eyes, I'll zoom you guys in. Whew. So I'm going to start off um, with the Maybelline Color, Tat Color Tattoo 24 Hours in Metal. Um, I guess it looks like this. That's what it looks like. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to use this as a kind of base. I'm just using my finger to put it on as well. I forgot this is supposed to be a chit chat. Get ready with me. Oops. So, <laughs> um, I got engaged a few weekends ago. Um, with my boyfriend, now my fiance. Uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting stuff. Yeah, <laughs> I have my engagement party coming up in the next couple of weeks. Um, I'll probably do a get ready with me for my engagement party. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. So I'm going to start off with going in with the Blush Nudes by Maybelline. Um, this looks like that. And these are the colours in it. I'm going to go in with this one. Yeah, I'm taking this brush. Um, it's from Youngblood. It's just um, a normal uh, eyeshadow based brush. And again, I'm just going in with that colour right there. I don't know if you can see it well on camera because it's not, it's, I think it's coming up more brown on camera. It's actually like a nudie pink colour. It's really pretty, really pretty. So yeah, I'm just going to put that onto my eyelid. So it's just real pinky, nudie, yeah. Now, just with the same brush, because I'm lazy, so I'm lazy, um, I'm just going to get some of the same colour on the tip and put it under, on the, under, that. You can hear that, that's the house burn. I ain't getting it. 
I am going to go in with, I'm going to keep that palette out because I'm going to use it in a second. Um, I'm going to go in with the Nudes by Maybelline New York. Um, this was the first one that came out um, before the blush nudes. So yep, it just looks like that. It looks pretty trashy if you ask me because I don't, I'm a trashy person. So yep, that's what the colours are in the palette. I'm going to go in with... Hmm. This one right here. So I'm taking a fluffy brush. I'm um, pretty sure this is probably up from Young Blood as well. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's just it's just a fluffy blending brush. So yeah, I'm taking that colour that I just showed you. I'm gonna put it in the crease. Now that's where I want it to be. I'm just going to take a tiny bit and I'm going to put it on the lower lash line half. <laughs> so bad at describing what I'm doing. I'm so sorry. So now I'm going to go in with my Gloss Professionals eyeshadow blending brush. Just like this. It's like pretty much the same as this one, but this one is a little smaller and a little bit more dense, so it's like to real get into your crease. Um, and I'm going to take this color right here. Um, it looks black, well, like gray on camera, but it's actually um, a dark, dark brown. So I'm just going to put that into my crease. I'm not actually blending it out yet. I'm just putting it in there. And now I'm going to put this on the very outer corner of my little lash line. So now I'm going to go back in with the bigger fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend. Just blend. There's, I haven't put any more product on this, I'm just... I'm going back in with the blush nudes by Maybelline um, and I am going to take right here. Um, it's like a it's like an off-white shimmery colour and I'm gonna use it to highlight. So I'm taking this brush which is from um, Youngblood. Um, it's just dense and a little smaller. Then my beige, my beige, then my base brush. So yeah, I'm putting it in that colour and I'm going to put it into my tear duct and, well tear duct, in a corner, my inner corner and my under my brows. I'm also bringing it like on the very inner corner of my lid so it blends. So that's the eyeshadow done. Um, now I'm going to go in with um, <clears throat> my Young Blood Extreme Pigment Eye Pencil in Black as Black. Just, just a black eyeliner pencil. Stop keeps moving. It's freaking me out. Anyway, so yeah, I'm taking this. And I'm going to be really gross and I'm going to line my tight line. I'll probably end up, if I do get it on camera, I'm probably going to end up editing it out because it's it's gross. It's gross. To put mascara on my lashes, um, I am using my CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. Um, this is in the color Black Brown. I don't know about anyone else, but I cannot put mascara on my eyelashes without getting some like on my on my lid. I don't know why. I just can't. It's impossible for me. Better, better. 
See what I mean? I don't know. I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know. Why is this shit happening to me? I go ahead and bronze my face. Um, I am using a bronzer from Model Co. In bronze. <laughs> Looks like this. And this is what it looks like. Um, this side is shimmery, this side is matte. I'm going to be using the shimmery side um, because I like the shimmery side when I bronze. This this brush um, from Youngblood. Yeah, I'm not sure what it is. I just use it. And this is also broken. So my life is just falling apart. So I'm just going to take the bronzing and I'm going to start off by bronzing just the outside of my face. And I'm going to put some on my forehead to bring back that five head down to a forehead. So now that bronzing is done, I'm going to contour. I'm going to do a real um, <laughs> I'm going to do a softer contour than usual. I'm going to be using my Australis AC on Tour contour and highlighting kit. Um, this is dark complexion. This is what it looks like. I will be going in with this one to contour today. And I will be using this brush, another brush from Youngblood. Um, the reason why I have so many Youngblood, Youngblood, Youngblood stuff is because I did beauty school and in our kit we got a lot of Youngblood stuff. So yes. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm using this brush. It's an angled brush. I'm going to pop it into that, that guy, that colour I showed you and I'm going to start cutting my cheeks. I'm going to go ahead and do the hairline up towards the temples. Um, because it's not real good blended, I'm going to take this brush by Real Techniques called the Bluff Brush. Called the Buffing Brush. Um, it's just dense and yeah, so I'm just going to use that to kind of blend out what I just did. <laughs> now I'm going to contour my nose. I'm using the same colour that I used to contour my face. Um, and this is the brush that I'll be using. It's just a real little precision brush. And I'm going to just do two lines on the side of my nose. I'm also going to do the tip. <laughs> and now I'm taking this Models Prefer MPA104 Airbrush Concealer Brush, um, but I'm going to use it to blend in my. Just what I just did with the nose because it blends it out really well. And now um, we are going to put some colour into our cheeks. I'm using Face of Australia. Um, blush in nutmeg. This is the colour. It's really cute. I'm going to take my Ego Tools brush. Pretty sure this is a blush brush. I've had it for years, like since I first started doing my own makeup. So, yeah. So I'm going to take that and take that that blush and put it on my cheeks. And I'm putting it just above where I did the contour. Yeah, I just broke my drawer. So now I'm going to highlight. I'll be using my Nude by Nature in 01 Champagne highlight stick. Looks like this. And then you pop it open. And it looks like this. Put a nose. And I keep it there. 
and a little bit on my chin. And I'm just going to blend it out with my finger. Yes. This is what I wanted. I am going to take my Models Prefer Define little thing. It looks like this. And this has like um, contour, blush. Contour, blush, and highlighters. So, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to be taking that. this one right here. It's a very shimmery gold highlight. And this is Real Techniques Contour Brush. So, I'm just putting it in that and putting it on top of where I just put the stick. Oh, Jesus. I just put so much on my face. do my lips so this is Youngblood lip liner pencil in pout which is that the color is not coming up it's like a pinky nudie color I really like it so I'm just gonna use that to line my lips and then once the lips are lined I'm just gonna go in and put this fill it in Yeah, so I'm just feeling it in now. <laughs> My L'Oreal Paris collection exclusive by I feel like it says Mar. I don't know what that says. Just have a look at it. I got my clue. And this is the colour. Naomi's Delicate Rose. So it just looks like that. So I'm just going to put that on my lips. Oh, this looks good. Oh, so creamy. This is actually the first time I'm using this. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, to see more videos. I'll be posting a lot more videos now that I have a camera. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!